Hey everybody, Dave Hamilton here at CES 2025. And today I got to look at the upcoming TP-Link Wi-Fi 7 travel router. This is the BE3600 Wi-Fi 7 travel router. It's coming in Q3 of this year. It's gonna be less than $100. So let's figure $99.99. This thing uh, is USB-C powered and you could power it with a power bank, right? Uh, it's got a two and a half gig LAN port and a two and a half gig WAN port there right on the, uh, on the back, which means you can connect to all kinds of things. It's got seven different connection types. So you can do a Wi-Fi repeater. You can of course use ethernet. You can use your, uh, cell phone, you know, via USB or but there's many different ways of connecting with this and, uh, it can do a hotspot, it can do a range extender, it can do all the things. It's got VPN uh, in, inside it. It's got OpenVPN and WireGuard so that you can connect that way. And of course, the big, big, big benefit is Wi-Fi 7. And here's why. With Wi-Fi 6E or Wi-Fi 6 or Wi-Fi 5 or even you know below that, you're only able to use one band at a time, right? Your device, usually intelligently, but sometimes not so intelligently, picks a band, and that's what you're going to use. But in hotels, Wi-Fi 5, you know, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz can often be, like, super congested. Wi-Fi 7, not only in addition to adding, you know, more bands, what Wi-Fi 7 lets us do is use all of them simultaneously. It will intelligently use the spectrum across all of the bands and find the best way. So if you've had bad experience with a travel router in the past, that might be why, because you're fighting with everything else and you're not really able to carve out your own path with Wi-Fi 7, we can carve out our own path. So let's all make sure we stay on top of this. And uh, like, I, like I said, Q3 is, is what they were saying to me. Uh, less than a hundred dollars, and it's yeah, it's the uh, it's the the BE thirty six hundred Wi Fi travel router, super compact design. Those antennas fold down. Yep, as you can see, and it's got a LAN and a WAN port. I love this thing. Power it with a power brick or or a you know a battery, whatever you want. Stay subscribed, folks. Make sure you don't want to get caught missing out on any of our other cool content here from CES. And speaking of all our cool content, we couldn't do it without all of our sponsors here. Our coverage sponsors made this possible. That is the folks at Eero, the folks at PIA VPN, the folks at the Omni Group, the folks at CCC Backup, and the folks at RoboRock. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of them. Woohoo, you rock. You made it possible for us to bring all this content to all of our audience here and all of you listening. So check it out. Stay subscribed and uh, we'll see you next time.